So let's look at how to use multiple S parameter files in a model. We want to model this device here at the top, and I was fortunate enough to find three separate S parameter files on the vendor website, which have been imported into this workspace. They're for three different temperatures. So how do we do that? Well, we start like we always start with the S data NL model, because that model allows us to enter an S data file name. And since we have three files, then we just have to make sure to have a little bit of MATLAB in the model to test the simulation temperature in a variable called temp. And if it falls in this range, we use this file or this file or this file, and even a default case if the test fails for any reason. And each time we store the name of the file in a variable called sname. So how do you use that variable in the model? Well, normally, you would just put the name of the variable in one of these fields. But since this variable contains text, it's a string, it requires the use of a special syntax, and that's the equal sign. So if the variable is numeric, you don't need the equal sign. But when it's text, that's when you need it. And that's really the only trick to using the file name in this case. So let's test, make sure that the frequency response down here at the lower right changes when we change the simulation temperature and we pull a different S parameter file for use in the model. And it looks like it's working. That's how to use, or one way to use, different S parameter files in the same model.